Yo, what's up? This is my thoughts on the Aiden Ross, uh, Dylan Dennis versus Logan Paul type fiasco. Everyone on the internet's commenting about it, so I might as well touch on and cut them. So popular important, I might as well just fucking comment on it as well. Apologize for poor lighting. It kind of is 4 a.m. in the morning. Okay, I just, I'm on a run, okay, I'm recording videos, editing, I'm doing work, I'm chilling, I'm vibing, okay? I want to talk about this because like, it's on fire and everyone's talking about it, so I'm like, yeah, fuck, I'm going to get my two views, nobody gives a fuck, I get like 10 views in a video, who cares, I don't care. When I'm popular as fuck, you're going to be like, oh, wait, you commented on the Dylan Dennis? The first thing I have to say, Dylan Dennis has a very low likelihood of winning this fight before this if you ask her with Nina Adjel, Ad, Adgal, I, I don't know how to say her last name, or we know the fact that she has an insane body count. Like, what the fuck? Even Rice comes with the math and that shit. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. Bro, it's not making it better for us Asians with the math shit, man. What the fuck, bro? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> like, it's so dumb. Like, she's in everyone. Delirio DiCaprio, LeBron James. What, what, what's happening, man? <sighs> that was a big yawn. I didn't mean to have come out. Let me look at this tweet here. Um, we can react to like the videos. Don't even bother. Don't, don't even bother. Dylan Dennis is planning to reveal photos of Nina Aj Agdal. Agdal. Long Paul's wife. Yikes. Just yikes, what can I say? I'm not even gonna say anything extra. You guys know the you guys know the juice. Like she's with the juice. Like, she's been slurping juice from dudes for years. From everyone. Pause. This action could potentially result in a prison sentence of five years, but unveiling is scheduled to occur live on April on stream. What was happening, man? What what is this Aiden? <laughs> no, what is this Dylan? Now, what is this Logan? I'm blaming the wrong people here. What is this Logan? What are you doing? I used to be a low gangster. Right? I don't know if I can find the original. For if I edit this video into like an actual normal video, I find I'll try to find the original video of me being like when I'm like literally ten years old, by the way, I'm fucking eight years ago. Being like, Yo, what's up, Logan? Or like a little fucking child, because like I, I looked at this guy as like a fucking robot, all unbelievable, right? Like, because look what the fuck he's doing now. He's dating hoes, marrying hoes. You never wife a hole, right? It's like a, there's like a general statistical, mythical fucking. I'm not gonna fuck around with words. It's a general rule for men. You don't wife a hole because this leads to uh, insane amount of abnormalities later on. It's incredibly destructive for relationships, etc., etc. I don't need to explain it. The, the, the examples are endless, right? It's, it's, it's fucking wow, Lord Paul. It's really tired. <laughs> <laughs> when you filmed the dead body, I remember watching that video first time when it came out. It got like seven million views in like an hour, bro. Extrapolate that to today, it probably would have got like a fucking a hundred million views if it was still around. No, hundred million is poor. It would have got like five hundred million views. No, 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 perhaps not that many, but it was definitely over the hundred million threshold because that's seven million views in an hour, bro. Anyways, yeah, I watched that video and I, I was so desensitized on the internet at the time because he was doing so much crazy shit, breaking plates, and, you know, harassing his assistant and, you know, um, uh, worshipping his dog. I still remember that, Kong. Uh, rest in peace, Kong. That's the only good thing to come out of this stupid fucking <laughs> YouTube channel. Um, that little dog was cute. Anyway, yeah, after that little dog died. Um, no, it's before the dog died. Anyway, yeah, after the, after the dead body incident, I kind of just also didn't say, I was like, okay, when's the next vlog? Because he was doing daily vlogs, he was doing so much shit in a day, like, and I think about it now with my um, YouTube experience, I want to be like a YouTuber, I want to have this shit on the side at least. Um, like, you're going to be posting at least once every day. I have posts until September, end of September, and I have posts, you know, I have, haven't touched October yet, but I have videos touching October, which I need to post, of course, scheduled, but you know, my fucking YouTube isn't. Fucking copyright struck banned me like a dickhead because um, I posted a fight and they're like, uh, 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 you can post a fight, original content only now. So I only I have to be like very really selective with my content and you know, post original content exclusively. Yeah, it's just, just dumb, just dumb, dumb as fuck, super dumb. Like, I, I want to be the very best.
Like, no, I don't shut the fuck up. I want to. I don't want to post. Like, what content I like to post? Is, is it that difficult? I just like posting content. I like seeing my channel grow. Is is it is it that much? Like, just conjure your brain. You fucking. Okay, I'm joking. I like this platform, but um, it, it's not. It's not directly the platform for. I can't even like. I don't have a good lawyer. Should get one, but like I can't even fucking. You're like, uh uh uh. You take that copyright strike off. Um, because I, I literally don't know what to say. I post fights and um, yeah, they should they should take that off. But still, because uh, it's free marketing. If... Oh man, I'm tired. It's free marketing. If they just let me put it there. Anyway. They're still in Dallas versus um, um, the penis pole um, fight. Dylan Dallas has won the out of the three tenets of battle, of war, he likes to describe it the mental, the physical, and the spiritual. He's won two. He's won the spiritual. Logan's not training anymore. He's fucked up from this incident. He's been a bitch. He's been a pussy. Mental, mental game completely fucked, as you know, because he's not training anymore as well. Physical, unlikely. Logan is juiced to the shred, to the guild. And if he's not juiced, he must be insanely genetically gifted. I'll give him that. He's a phenomenal athlete. He's phenomenal at boxing. Nah, I want to take that back. He's good at boxing. He never want to fight, but he still portrays some um, technical prowess. Like a lot of the guys um, within the you know top rank of influencer boxing, you know that the list and the kind of. And but throughout those guys, like he he can, I'm pretty sure if he takes, if he just takes a, a bunch of these guys out, then he'll be more cemented in in, um, in the thing. Influential boxing power power rankings. Give me the truth. Like one of these lists, stupid lists, for example, which I believe is false, but you know, um, Jake Paul number one, KSI Slim, Ani Sonkie, Logan Paul would beat Gib, Logan Paul would beat Slim, Logan Paul would beat KSI if he had that killer instinct, if he had that fight mode he could turn off, and if he didn't punch him on the ground um, like an idiot and respect the boxing rules, he would have won that fight with a dumbass. But he did, he did what he had to do, and the world would be a completely different place, by the way, if Logan Paul won that fight, but yeah, that was a self-induced um, pain. I don't know, and he, he fired Shannon Briggs as well, even though Shannon Briggs is a phenomenal boxer and a good coach. The only problem is that Logan Paul is just um, not good enough at boxing. It's his fault. Temper, he would beat, uh, he's already ranked higher than him. Broom, he would beat, someone, this idiot ranked Broom fourth in the world, light heavyweight, Logan Paul cruiserweight. Wait, and he's giving Logan Paul the same weight, cruiserweight. They are not even the same physique, brother. Have you seen the both of them? Oh, I thought this was slim, my bad. I was, my brain was bad. Yeah, I mean, they're the same physique. The physique the same. Yeah, he would smash and he's Uh, Give. Where's Slim? Slim's on the list, is he? Ninth is Deji, a light heavyweight. How? Um, yeah, just kind of dumb lists. King Kenny, international. Deji, Bryce Hall. Vitali Why is this? You know, this is a bad list with Vitali and Fuzia here when they're absolutely horrible. Taylor Holder is higher than Bryce Hall. The current Bryce Hall would destroy Taylor Holder. Bryce will probably destroy Deji. It'll be a very good. It'll be a very good fight. Destroy Idubs. Why is he, why is he so this low? He should be. He'll be destroyed. He would. He is him and versus Deji. That's be that'll be a good fight. Are they both same weight class? They lie heavyweight. Just stop. Bryce Hall. Have you seen that knockout in in, in Ben Knuckle? Imagine that with pads. He would fucking his power is legitimate. He would destroy uh, Deji, especially when Deji not training seriously. Um, John Cabana, probably good fight. Broom. Um, needs a rematch. Uh, good fight, I think. He would destroy him though. Or a decision. Dr. Mike, why is he even here? Jarvis, should be higher. 
Alex Wasabi, why is he here? Soul Puppy, good spot, third place. Soul Puppy versus Face Sensei, I think Soul Puppy might edge out the win. Soul Puppy versus King Kenny, um, good kind of King Kenny would destroy Soul Puppy. Soul Puppy, I don't know, he looked fucking mediocre against Anthony Taylor. He should have smoked Anthony Taylor and walked past him. And now all the hype train is gone because he's just fucking, yeah. Anyway, it's just a dumb event anyway. Um, the, I don't, even, I don't even call him by the insulting name anymore. He just, he's taking, I, 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 I think I kind of like him to him because of this Logan Paul shit. Um, he's completely and utterly correct. Like, Logan Paul is a cuck simp, and, you know. Fuck it. Um, he's in love. You know, when a man is in love, it's often difficult to make out the truth. It's often difficult to make out the reality of the situation. And yeah, I, I understand that completely and utterly. But the, the reality of the situation is he's going to get used and abused. He's going to run right, run, uh, around dry. Um, in the proposal, video logan was seen crying tears of joy uh nina agile was like just eh, smiling yeah i want to i'm gonna get a bag out of this guy yeah 500 million dollars <laughs> half of prime is mine now <laughs> Yo, dylan better win this fight because he's won two of the battles so far there's only one more battle left and that battle is the most important battle because that battle could even out the scales logan needs to knock him out Logan needs to knock Dylan out, and if he's not training, and to open his emotions, and like, you know, wait, is this girl the one, I'm gonna have to break up with her, she's a hoe, etc, 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 she didn't sleep me in the first date, but she fucked all these guys, and slept in the first date before me. Brother, what are you doing this to yourself? He's probably like, you know, nah, it's, it's crazy, he's probably like, oh yeah. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful, of course, but she's a whore. Oh, yeah, she's so beautiful. How can I get her? I'm so lucky. You're not lucky, bro. The devil always comes in the disguise of a beautiful woman. Not, not, a, not, a, not a red creature of hell. Not a red spawn of hell. Comes in the guise of a beautiful woman, bro. And this is why I, I this is why I like Christians, because Christians, true Christians, by the way, not John Zucker, crackhead Christian, not uh, the modern day Western wokes Christian, no, true Christians that actually practice what they preach. They, the ones that are good, the ones that are fucking on that on their shit. The the devil comes in the, in the disguise of a woman, the beautiful one at that. You think they're wrong? No. Logan is not gonna watch this. Most definitely not. And I'm not at that high level yet. But if Logan is watching this, don't get fucking married, her. Don't get married. Everyone's saying it. You're thinking it. Just don't get married. Her. Call off the engagement. Call it off. Any legal disputes, solve it with your lawyers. You don't have to give away half your fucking company. Tough, man. It can happen to any guy. It can happen to any guy, most definitely. Which is quite worrying. Um, circumstances. Get, there could be, imagine that. There's a girl you absolutely love and adore and you want to be with forever. And she's beautiful and she's gorgeous. And she's just your type. Your personality's mesh well. But she slept with like 50 dudes before you. <laughs> and it's all documented. Thought alone of your your ex, your girl with being with like her ex, her ex boyfriend, it still like wrings your heart for the pain and suffering as a man. Think about with the the magnitude of dudes out there. That are images of how with someone else. Think about the magnitude of that. Magic of pain, little boy going through. That's one thing I feel bad for him. Most definitely, I feel bad for him, but um, it was self induced. Like, you got rice from doing the math about how much of a hoe she is. <laughs> That's how you know you're fucked. This, this is the main card event. KSI versus Tommy Fury. Nobody gives a fuck. Okay, nobody gives a fuck. Tommy Fury will probably win. I'm a big KSI fan. 
Tom Fury will probably win. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I think of instruction. It's dumb. Uh, Dylan, he's 29 years old. He's out of the ring for a very, very long time. His stand up game is not good. From what I've seen, more so his uh, Jiu Jitsu game, and wrestling game is good. That's his strength. Um, he had very solid arguments against like um, a maze or a street fight. Like, you use Jiu Jitsu in a street fight. And he's like, duh, yeah, I would, of course you use Jiu Jitsu. That's my strength, a strong suit. So he's very, very smart and witty with his comebacks. He's definitely portrayed as a bad guy. Like, when he was getting clowned on, it was okay because the, the, the good, popular influencer YouTubers were the ones like supporting and condoning the clowning. KSI was like, haha, do it ah, do it with but like when he's doing it back, he's suddenly the bad guy. And don't you think you're going to be too far? Don't you think you're going to be too far? And I think I've definitely been on that stick in life. And I, I do know what it feels like. And I was definitely relate to that. So yeah, I want to see Dildo, <laughs> D- Dylan um, by stoppage. I want to see him win by stoppage. Or I want to see him win by KO, TKO. I, w- I do want to see him win. Logan needs that win more than uh, Dylan. But um, I do want to see Dylan win upset, and I want to stay around and you know keep boxing people. I want to see the range with for Anthony Taylor. That'd be an incredibly entertaining fight. I want to see him against Saul Pop. I want to see him against all these guys, all these guys. KSI as well. I don't know why he ducked KSI. Um, that shouldn't that shouldn't happen. But um, yeah, maybe because of injuries. I don't remember correctly, but yeah, it's just it's just a dumb situation. I don't know. Uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. See you guys in a bit. Catch you later. That's my opinion on the situation. Logan the cock. They look probably used to win. Catch you guys in this video, please. Let me know if you're not here.